Hey guys, this is Johnny FD and congratulations to everyone who won the job shipping partnership. This video, not only do I want to announce who won, but I really want to tell you guys how they won or why they get selected. That way, whenever you guys apply for either mine or someone else's next you know, partnership deal or, or job or internship or whatever it is, that you have the best chance of getting selected. So I'm sitting here in Chiang Mai, which is a very special place to me because this co-working space right behind me is when it, where it all started. I was making less than a couple hundred bucks a month sitting right here, literally on this spot when I first started just three years ago. And now I'm making more than six figures with just my dropshipping stores. And I am embarking on this journey to create stores with 10 partners who hopefully we're gonna all be able to, to not only be profitable every month, running the stores but also flip them and sell them uh, for hopefully 27x profit which is what i did with my last store making me 60k in a day uh, and if i can do that with 10 stores i'm going to be a very very happy man and on my way to being a millionaire so uh first off i want to congratulate all the winners uh first we have trevor from seattle robert from pennsylvania uh, Dylan from San Antonio, uh, Daniel from Florida, Preston from what was it? Fullerton, California, Madison from Utah, Tyler from Michigan, uh, Peter from Australia, Sebastian from Germany, uh, Michael from Poland, and last but not least, Alejandro from Peru. So big congratulations to all of you for being accepted into this partnership program. I don't want anyone who didn't have their names read think, oh man, you know, why didn't I, uh, I get selected? Uh, first of all, I wanna say thanks everyone for submitting an application because I've had an overwhelming response of very qualified people. Uh, and it was, it was a really tough decision to be honest. I, I, I think it came down to 37 kind of like finalists where I was going through your, your applications, watching your videos, looking at your numbers, your past experience and figuring out who do I want to choose? So there was a bunch of people who, to be honest, uh, it was just because you submitted the applications after I've already selected 10 people and I just had to cut people off. So even though there was a few of you who actually would have qualified, um, if there wasn't as many qualified people, uh, it just, it happened that I had so many superstars who wanted to, to join. So that would be actually lesson number one, uh, takeaway number one for anyone who is applying for something like this, try to get in ASAP. Like if you can, if you comply on the first or second day, the applications are open, you're going to have a much better chance of getting in, uh, especially if there are a lot of other highly qualified people, because as a business owner or someone who's looking to hire uh, or partner in my case, you know, we only have so much time. We're busy running our own business, uh, doing other things. And if we get, you know, 10 superstars or, you know, sometimes the position only wants one person and if they find someone great, they're going to stop looking at applications that come in uh, down the road. So even though my application process was technically open uh, for six days, by day three, I've already had my, my 10 people. So anyone who submitted after that had a very small chance of getting approved. Uh, so what else can, can you kind of learn from this? Uh, if you look at my blog, johnnyfd.com, I have a whole write-up about um, not only the, the, the winners and why I chose them, but also why I asked the questions uh, and how to answer them if you want a, your best chance at getting either you know chosen as a, as a partner or as an intern or getting a job as well as you know kind of tips that if you are hiring your business owner uh, how to actually hire and um, kind of filter through the hundreds or literally sometimes thousands of random resumes that you get from people who may or may not be a superstar and that's what everyone's looking for you know honestly I, I want to partner with superstars um, I give you guys all the tools to be able to get to that point of being a superstar um, but then the people that I want to spend my time with and and you know, be a partner with to start a store, I want you guys to have really proven yourselves. So if you guys haven't started yet, there's gonna be links below uh, to how to get started with you know, basically building your own online businesses, even if you're broke. There, I'm gonna have a link for that as well below, um, but you can follow my journey and how I did it. So to kind of jump, jump through, uh, so the questions that I had asked, and I'll, I'll you know, kind of go through this, 
there was 10 questions I asked on my survey and these are becoming more and more popular because it's such an easy way for business owners to first off screen out people who won't even bother filling out or completing a survey uh, and second filter out you know make it it makes it very easy for us to kind of quickly look through and instead of looking at generic resumes that you might have sent to a hundred employ- employers this is very specific to the job or the position or the partnership opportunity that exists. So the first two questions were easy. What's your name? What's your email? Don't, you know, nothing to say about that. I just need it. Uh, but here's a big uh, tip is literally the next two questions are the most important. And if, if, these, guys, if these two you don't answer, I don't want to say correctly, but if you don't meet the qualifications, I stop reading it because the, these are the requirements I'm looking for this job, right? So if I was looking for someone who is an Uber driver and you don't have a driver license, it's gone. Like, it doesn't matter what you answer for the other ones. You have to have these qualifications. So the first question was, can you move to Chiang Mai by November 1st? And the reason why I needed this is because I'm, I want to partner with people in person. Even though I think I could do it virtually, maybe in the future we might do that. For this round, I want everyone in person here so we can sit around, co-work together. Uh, the next question was, do you already have a profitable dropshipping store? If so, what is your revenue last month? Uh, if someone hasn't made a sale yet, this isn't a training course. This is a partnership. So if you want to take a training course and learn how to start a store, do it through Anton. The site is antonmethod.com. And then come back next year if I open this back up. Uh, but just because you know you guys aren't crushing it yet, it, it, but you have the other qualifications, you might still be chosen. I think out of the, out of the 10 people that I chose, uh, Three of them were making ten thousand dollars or more in sales a month, but the rest were kind of just starting out. We're kind of it's all in between. Uh, the next couple of questions are things that it helps me decide who to choose, um, but d- none of them are like make or break it, right? So I ask, are you a, a part of any dropshipping course? I want to know if you guys number one have invested in yourself to learn, and second, if you have proper training. Uh, Another question is, are you, you know, what's your screen name in, in one of the forms? And that way I can kind of go through your, either your progress thread or see if you're helping other people or seeing what type of questions you have. i kind of just get to know more of you. Uh, I ask what country you're from. Uh, I, as you notice, a lot of people are American that I chose, but we also have people from Poland, Peru, Germany, and the UK and Australia. Uh, so it's, it, it is diverse, uh, but most people just happens to be from the U.S., uh, do you have a credit card? And the reason why I ask this is uh, I'm actually willing to help my partners fulfill orders and even pay for advertising if needed, uh, but I can't do it for 10 people. So I wanted to you know, make sure that I only allow one or two people in um, that need help fulfilling orders or with advertising uh, just because you know, I only have so many cards to go around and I just don't want to deal with, juggle with all that. So um, that wasn't a make it or break it. I, I think we have one or two people who are a bit young, just out of college, uh, that don't have a high credit limit. So uh, I've approved them, but that was something that I had, had to consider before picking someone. And then number nine was the 30 second YouTube video of introducing yourself. So I, put, I originally, I think I put 45 seconds, which seems very short, but in reality, it's, it's really all the time you need to just quickly introduce yourself and say why you want to do this internship and why I should choose you. Uh, this quality video right now that you're seeing is just me on my iPhone with the stock, you know, kind of the free earbuds. Audio quality is fine. Lighting is great. Um, and this is all you need. You don't need any fancy editing. You don't need to have a music, you know, soundtrack. You don't, you don't need to cut it. And you don't need anything crazy. Just go outside where there's good lighting uh, use a head, headphone like this or a mic so there isn't a bunch of background noise of cars driving by so I can actually hear you and you know put the phone somewhere I'm using my laptop as a stand uh, that way it doesn't just juggle around everywhere you know if you're walking around like this and it's shaking around I don't want to watch that and no one else does either so either hold it nice and steady like I am now or just put it down somewhere and record the video uh, it's very important to have good video quality make sure you share it on youtube as unlisted and that way i can watch it without being signed in uh, or i can share it with someone who might be a decision maker as well and last but not least in the optional section 
don't leave that blank. This is your chance to, you know, write out anything that can kind of bring you over the, you know, over the edge. If by now and I'm still reading it, that means I haven't chosen you yet. Uh, there's a chance that, uh, you know, I've already stopped reading, but if I'm still reading, that means I'm still kind of thinking, man, I like this person, um, but maybe the qualifications aren't quite there yet. Or, you know, I already have too many people who need help with, you know, with X, Y, Z. Do I really want this person? And if the optional is blank, it's gone. I, I, I'm moving on to the next person. So this is where you put in a personal message. Let me know a little bit more about you. Maybe share a screenshot to kind of prove, you know, that you actually know what you're talking about. Uh, you can show me your, one of your dashboards. Even if you, you know, blur some of it out, I don't mind. I just want to know that, you know, this is, you're like a real person that you are dedicated to it. So this is how I chose um, the 10 partners for this year. Uh, the reason why I chose 10, even though my original idea was five to 10, is because number one, it, it's a big, big move to come out to Thailand. Uh, so even though this is such a beautiful place, as you can see, you know, the, the weather is great, the, the co-working is awesome, the community is awesome. I know that there's going to be a couple people who are going to not be able to make it last minute because of flights or visa issues or, you know, accommodation, whatever it is. So I wanted to make sure that we get at least five people, which is why I ended up just, you know, saying, even though I only really want to run five stores, to be honest, because uh, I know it's going to be a lot of work. And actually, if you do the math, uh, I think I accidentally chose 11. Uh, but if, if every single person actually shows up uh, and they're kicking butt, I'm happy to run 11 stores. So keep in touch. We'll see uh, the progress. Hopefully, we're all going to make a ton of money. I want you guys to follow along. And if anything, if you guys didn't get chosen, do me a favor. and <laughs> Do yourself a favor. You know, just go do it anyways. I mean, you don't have to do it with me. You can partner with... Um, you know, with someone else in the forums or in the community or, you know, with other friends and just have the same mindset. I'm going to be documenting the whole journey of us going from zero and hopefully making five or 10 profitable stores. I'll see you in the next video. Good luck.